this is going to get brutal. You need your ass kicking hat. We are going to import some data from a web page. We got to clean it. And in the cleaning process, there is really something weird about line breaks. I'm going to show you how to deal with that, how to whoop crap data because it gets crafty at that point. So look, meet me back here in 15 seconds with your ass kicking hat on and we're going to, you know what? I'm trusting that you got your ass kicking hat on because this is serious. A guy sent me this URL. It goes to a Wikipedia page where he wants some Canadian zip codes. And look how this data is set up. VOC is up here, Northern British Columbia, and then 1K0 Clayhurst. He would like that all on one row. Like Jade City, he would like to see VOC and then Northern British Columbia and then 1E0 and then Jade City. But look at this whole block here. This is a lot. Okay, but we got the URL. Grab that. Boom. Copy. Good. Let's get rid of that. Go to Excel. I'm going to data from web. Paste in this URL. Okay. And that was the rural table that we want to get. Slide this up so we can see everything. And look, we even get a web view. There is, look at how this stuff looks. Good God Almighty. That's the table view. Now let's edit this query. Notice that like on the web page, there were the five columns. That's how the data looks. Here is what we're going to do. Is that's highlighted. I'm holding down. I'm going to slide over, hold down the shift key and go to transform. Unpivot. Now everything is all stacked up. We don't need this attribute column. But see, we're already making some progress here. I don't need this not in use jazz at the bottom. Filter, text filter, contains. Okay. Show rows where value, okay, does not contain. Not in use. Okay. Those are gone. Let's peel this down. Let's get rid of these first four characters. The V0A space. Split column by number of characters. Four. Once as far left as possible. Okay. Stretch this out a bit so we can see more. This is where this gets ugly and messy. We can't split at the colons. Because 1B0 colon needs to be with Briscoe. If we remove spaces, then the Briscoe winds up next to the 1E0 for Edgewater. And look at one other thing. This down here represents how the column really looks. And we saw that on the web page. Everything is in a tall column in one cell. It looks like one row here, but if we look at the bottom, we see that there's upper Columbia region and then a line break, 1B0 colon space Briscoe. We do have, if we highlight this column, I can go to format and do a trim. Okay, that would clean any leading or trailing spaces. What if I go to clean what that did was now i have the region here smacked right up against the 1b0 i can't have that so let's clear that now look 
This is why you needed your ass kicking hat. This is about to get serious now. Pay attention. The column is highlighted. I'm going to home replace values. It's tricky. Watch. I'm going to find an asterisk and replace it with the caret symbol. And I choose an asterisk because I know that there is no asterisk here. Now, I have my replace code up here in the formula bar. Now, I'm going to get rid of this asterisk and I'm going to type in hashtag open parentheses LF close parentheses for line feed. Enter. Boom. Look at that. Oh, oh, see, crap data can't mess with us. It can't. See, look at that two line feeds and at the right places upper columbia region we didn't have to worry about those two spaces right there our east kootenay we didn't have to worry about the one space the two line feeds are exactly where we want them here we go all we have to do is split columns now by what the double carrot symbol split column by delimiter custom double carrot symbol at each occurrence of the delimiter ho oh, look at that yeah yes check that out it is perfect now to get this in the format that we wanted what's the last step okay unpivot highlight the first column Hold down the control key, highlight the next column, right click, unpivot other columns. Ho! Oh, look at that. Now it is all stacked up. We can get rid of this attribute column, highlight it, right click, remove. Good, good, good. We have the three columns that we need. And it's a matter of close and load it to the workbook and do we have what we asked about earlier v0c north british columbia 1k0 clayhurst scroll down voc north british columbia 1k0 clayhurst there it is we got it yes so what did we do we imported data from a web page. We split columns. We got rid of a line feed. That was the knockout punch. That is what crap data was hoping we would miss, but we got it. And because we got it, guess what? We get some Stranahan's whiskey. Yes, we do, me and you. Right.